going to do, we're going to talk about the Fen Yang. Uh, we'll do a quick game in her and uh, discuss uh, her, her pros and cons. And then off we go to uh, our next ship. So here is our Fen Yang. Those of you in chat, please ask. Ask if you want to know something. Ask if I uh, didn't explain something good enough for you. I love to do these reviews live on stream, um, partly because I'm lazy and it, it saves me some time, but also because it allows for you guys in chat to be able to talk about um, what uh, what things matter to you, and I can directly answer questions that you guys have. So here she is. If she looks very familiar to you, it's because she is essentially an Akizuki, but instead of being Japanese, she is Pan-Asian. Um, let's take a look at her build. I did the typical equipment modules that you would put on her. Um, note that in terms of her consumables, she does get defensive anti-air fire, which for some people is, is quite nice, um, but that comes at a cost. One of the biggest things about the Fen Yang is her guns do not penetrate one quarter HE. They are the typical one sixth, which means you are only penetrating 17 millimeters of armor if you do not take IFHE. Let's take a look at the armor layout here. 17 millimeters armor means your guns are not even, your HE shells are not even penetrating deck armor and side plating on the Fen Yang herself. So, you're almost required to take IFHE on this ship if you want to comp uh, compete and penetrate other destroyers. Um, so keep that in mind. Of course, there's a big caveat with that. If you want to take IFHE, you lose 50% of your fire chance. With flags, my current fire chance is 9%. So we're talking about reducing that to something like 5%. It's a bit of a difference. Yeah, 17 instead of 30. Yikes indeed, Tashkent. Um, so, this ship, more than anything, if you're going to compete against other destroyers, if you're not going to take IFHE, you need to be good at switching to AP shells. Um, and if you are going to take IFHE, then you're going to have to expect to not do much damage in the way of cruiser, uh, in the way of fires, I should say. Um, so, th in my opinion, there's two different ways to play her, therefore, right? One way is, is uh, fire starting, and the other way is... Uh, just doing, you know, chip damage with IFHE um, enabled. So let's get into my commander build here. And I'm going to redistribute points. Um, and of course, I've, I've... Oh, wait. I don't want him. I don't want him. I, I, I... Yes, I want you. Better. Although, now we get into the other discussion. <laughs> KZB! <laughs> <laughs> just as we talk about IFHE and the wrong commander, boom! Because <laughs> I'm just resubscribed for six months. Six months in a row, Kazumi. Thank you so much for that resub. I really do appreciate it. I hope you're having a great Sunday. And I hope sometime you can send me a replay or 12 so I can feature a few of those. Because I would love to give you some, some assistance directly. So anyway, so I'm going to put the, the wrong on because the wrong gets the uh, upgraded fire chance and the upgraded survivability expert. Um, but there, there's there's a there's a difficulty here that I want to highlight for a second. And that is if you're using your wrongs on your Jap, uh, you're sorry, not your Japanese, your uh, pan Asian destroyers, you're going to by default have to go for the fire chance build on your Fen Yang because Otherwise, if you need IFHE, then, you know, you can't have, you can't have your 21 point, 19 point, whatever commander spec'd out on, on one of those, uh, tech tree ships. So, case me, awesome. <laughs> All right, so this is the build that I'm going to go ahead and play with. And I think it's a, I think it's a decent build. Um, it, it, it does synergize well with, with running uh the fen yang because of the fact that you need ap and and maybe heavy ap shells will will help uh, i wanted to highlight this for a reason though because i i talked in a commander skills video before you don't need 21 point captains to be effective and so essentially i'm playing this as like a 19 point commander that also has you know decent ap shell capabilities so keep that in mind 
Let's take a look at our fire chance. Now it's up to 10.5% thanks to having the improved pyrotechnician on top of the flags and all that kind of stuff. So we are going for max fire chance here. Okay. That's the plan at least. And we've got a Massachusetts and an Anchorage. Good. So I'm going to be carried along by my friends. Um, any other questions you guys have you want to ask about? We've got torpedoes. Uh, these are your... Um, just regular torpedoes that reach out to 12 kilometers. You do have the ability to reload boost. Uh, I mean, it's kind of what you would expect to see. Hello, Duckman. How you doing? So there's nothing too special there. So let's go into battle and let's talk. And if, if you guys have questions as I'm playing, um, whatever, please ask. What's the horn sound like? That's a very important question, Deadliest. We'll find out right when we get in there. Yes, these are super deep water torps. I apologize, I forgot to mention that. Look, a straight tier 8 game. Can't blow the horn just yet, but I will. You know what, Kitty? I thought about taking my Massachusetts too. <laughs> That would have been funny as heck is it's two Massachusetts is following a Fin Yang into a cab. <laughs> so we do wow. have carriers. Lots of tier 8 battleships. That's actually good matchmaking for me with my ultra deep torps. Um, I only have the Cleveland to worry about with, with radar on the enemy team. Prince Eugen's got the, the special, could have the special German Hydro. Cossack has Hydro, Z23 has Hydro. Akizuki's are div, so wherever we see the Massachusetts black, we can expect to see both Mass uh, both Akizuki's coming in. So where do you need us? <laughs> I would say just play like normal first, and let's see what the enemy does. Horn time. All right, I'm gonna go to the middle of the map and try to lock down that island. Just be careful. Um, you're gonna take be a lot of. Yeah, you, because you're in an anchorage. Uh, you're you're going to take a ton of fire coming in, because there's one, two, three, four, five battleships. As soon as you get spotted, they're going to just start shooting you. Mm-hmm. It's called position, position, position. Duckman, you've never seen a straight tier 8 game? Hey, it could be worse. We, we could be down tiered at 6. Or, or at 10, I mean, right? Uh, Mike oh, G. Coming in. Impossible to hit. Interesting. <laughs> All right, so that carrier understands how to uh, go after destroyers, and unfortunately, that lightning doesn't understand how to not get whacked by carriers. Um, so he'll be pushed back just a little bit. That's fine. So Akizuki was found over on the left side, so I would expect both Akizukis to be over there. Although we do see both Mass two Massachusettses at least. Heading for the traditional side of the map. Alright. Where's the lightning going now? We have an AFK Kansas. Good. Oh, and a cyclone. This comes in very handy. For me too. Yeah, you're already... Okay. It's got spotted. And I'm being radared now by the Cleveland... No more radar. Ah, here comes the Kaga. So this is what you do, guys, when you're dealing with, with planes like this. You wait. Anti-air off. Detected. Anti-air on. With defensive. And then reinforce. And sure, he's going to get a strike on me. But he's paying a hefty price for that. He's already lost three planes. Four planes now. He, I took down five planes by just doing that. Anti-air guns back off again. And you note that I, I turned back to the Takao and I used the Takao for anti-air uh, cover as well. Very important that, that when you are in a carrier game, you don't go off by yourself in a destroyer. Shane, you're not looking too good. That's because somebody's close within my eight kilometer uh, smoke firing penalty. Something, something, don't get too close, something, something. 
somebody's within my eight kilometer smoke firing penalty. Right. All right, I'm gonna have to try to go and help over there. More planes, I'll go ahead and turn anti-air on to try to get them out of here for you. Back off again for a second. Now he's coming out of his dive, so I can open up my guns right there. See, I just chipped away another one of those planes. It's a Kaga, so in reality, I'm not going to get a lot of, of uh, plane kills, or it's not going to impact him as much, I should say. But, oh, cool. Deepwater Torpid on the uh, the Massachusetts. I was going to say, well, I ate two of those, those planes for you. Mm hmm I got three for you. I'm going to slow down and smoke because I'm pretty sure that this guy uh, DCP'd. So let's get some AG rain going on him. There goes the lightning. There's a Cossack over there. Hey, look, we got a fire. It's almost like 10.5% fire chance is, is doing something. Who'd have thought? But notice how many shatters I'm getting on him. I'm starting a fire, but I'm not doing any pen damage to him. So this is a good way to talk about, you know, um, get the trade-offs, essentially, right? That you, you, have, to, you have to decide between. All right. Let's keep moving. What's up, Snow Mongoose? North Carolina is probably going to get wrecked there. Shane, keep an eye over on me. I'm going to need your help here with the uh, destroyers. Oh, never mind. They're running away. Oh, that's cute. Slow down just a little bit there on purpose. Because I'm pretty sure that these two guys are going to sit together in smoke. And I kind of want to say hello to him. Hey, Cochlin. All right, Puddin's here. Oh, you found who was close to you. Alright, let's see what we can do against two Akizukis in smoke. There's one. I'm holding my fire until I can spot the other one, and I know exactly where the other one is. Rip Shane. There he is. I can't open up on him just yet. I'm spotted. Here we go. KC Luck Chucks Torpedoes. Put in 597 raided my stream with five viewers. Thank you, Puddin. Yeah. Now that Puddin's here, we can get the uh, giveaways going. Alright, we're just gonna 
run this guy out of here. No BFT. I don't think I have it on this captain. Cochlin, I don't remember what, what your replay was. Hey, there he is. Do you want me to do one of the giveaways with the uh, stream elements or wait for the marbles? What do you mean? Uh, oh, you can you can do a giveaway, sure. Always turn into the rockets. You can see that that Kaga um, started his attack run too soon or too late because I turned into the rockets and now he's like, nah, I'm gonna just F off of here, boink. All right, we need to get back to the cap and help the team. So that's what we're going to do. The Kansas has woken up. That's good. Uh, we need to find the Cossack. Weekend Warrior, what's up? We are giving Gee, away... Try what, try what most destroyer players would do right now. Go try to kill the CV. That's a uh, waste in time. Oh, look at the Kansas. I'm just going to go broadside to a Massachusetts and a Richelieu. That's a great idea. There you go, guys. There Over you go. Overpin damage. Skarden, thank you for the follow. Skarden 1 is now following. Make sure you hit exclamation point ticket to get into our uh, giveaway. Shadow the Demon Nichiro. Hello. How you doing? What's up with you as well? Good, sir. Now we're in full cyclone. Uh, the Cleveland is the biggest threat for us right now. Now, the, the enemy is making a big mistake, uh, and hopefully our, our team can uh, can take advantage of it. Um, they're, they're pushing, but they're pushing kind of haphazardly. These two guys um, should be together, and they're getting together, uh, and these guys have to work together as a blob as well um, in this kind of a situation. But there's not much I can do just yet until I can get into into visual range. Um, and by that point, Big Joe is probably going to be dead. I have faith in Big Joe. Yeah, I'm going to turn my torpedoes a bit as well. What is that North Carolina doing that's behind you? Uh, he was supporting this flank. And then, uh, obviously... Um, okay, now we, turn towards we defeated the other one, so... Well, they're, they're gonna do a death spiral. Uh, if they, if they don't kill this guy off right away. I could smoke and start shooting, but as soon as that happens, I'm gonna miss my opportunity. Oh, they're gonna go for ram? That'll work, actually. Ram's okay. Excellent. Okay, good. See, just by me having faith in Big Joe allowed that to happen. Yeah, but unfortunately, we are currently losing now. Um, that Cleveland needs to go, and unfortunately, there's not much I can do against a Cleveland. That's going to be oh, the I'm ultimate gonna... problem. He is going to be gone right now. You can yell at him angrily. Right. Okay. Oh, double strike. Well done to Kao. Uh, I'm giving him a compliment. <laughs> I'm giving him a compliment. He deserves a compliment for that. Oh, it's Demonic Hero. <laughs> it's a long name, my dude, and I'm trying to, like, pay attention to the game and the chat at the same time, so I apologize, but thank you for the correction. That's like, um, um, Musashi. It took me, like, a year and a half, two years to discover and realize that his name is Musashi backwards. I was called, I was calling him I-H-S-A-S-U-M or something like that, and I'm like, why is who would call themselves that like is that a, a, a nickname moniker or something and then i'm like oh derp it's sashi backwards demon ichiro is so much better <laughs> see here bill is using the torpedoes correctly on a cruiser mm -hmm. as a surprise mm -hmm. you're dead yep move rather than trying to get those torpedoes off and putting himself at risk. And now I'm trying to at least support the Takao. Uh, he'll probably die here. Nope. 
close. Six anti-air kills. Too bad to cows. Too bad to cows too far. Otherwise, I know he'd probably be going for that kraken. He might still get it. The carrier is over here, I think. His last known spot was there, but that was a long time ago, I believe. Yeah, see how close the how quickly the yeah. bombers are coming back? The carrier's like right here. Which is good, because what's gonna happen is now I'm gonna get within range. Surprise! <laughs> yeah. You open up by reinforcing, and look, now he's like, oh crap, and he's trying to turn around and he's trying to deal with me. He wants to kill the Takao, but now I'm here. And he's like, no, I guess I'll go back there. I just killed seven of his planes. Granted, a lot of them were, um... Fighters? Yeah, the fighters. But still, that's okay. And Takao's probably dead here. Yep. Yep. That's okay. Because our North Carolina is capping. And we got the points. Squad wipe. <laughs> Meanwhile, our carrier is very clueless about where their carrier is. He's over here. Anti-air is off. I always check when I'm in a destroyer and I see those planes coming to make sure my anti-air is off. And look, my defensive fire is ready just in time because I turned my anti-air off when I didn't need it afterwards. Here we go. Defensive fire, reinforcement. He went into He went into attack mode, but because I'm going straight at him, he couldn't react in time. You don't have speed boost, do you? Uh, not anymore. I used it earlier. Now he's coming in for another attack. I'm going to turn so that the, the best thing he can do is only just hit my butt. Oh, he hit my butt. Oh, no. Last he stand. touched the butt. <laughs> he touched the butt. butt. Now, look, I turned anti-air off because I turned anti-air off. My defensive fire consumable reset. So that's one trick you can do to get your defensive fire up quicker. I think the important question is, did he touch a butt anchor more than just a butt? <laughs> oh, no. Let's see here. Let's zoom in. Suck my oh, anchor. Wow. Did he, did he touch your butt inappropriately? And see, now, now he goes into an attack because I'm so close to him. Oh. It's dive bombers. Yes, please turn more. Oh, I haven't got one of those in a while. And because he went into the attack, he screwed up his attack and he had to pull out of it. So now he's gonna he's gonna have to fly all the way back around again. And I'm wasting his time. And while I'm wasting his time, I'm shooting down his planes. That's something that some people uh, may not realize is if you set a carrier on fire, he uses this damage control party. So you have a lot greater chance of setting it on fire while it's CP's on uh, cooldown. The oh, you mean the minute later when it gets off cooldown? And I was just about to say, that is the problem with with that idea, because it that DCP lasts for an entire minute. But I think more importantly, what you're doing is he's not resetting their cat. He's not going after the North Carolina. Correct. I'm wasting this carrier's time. He's so afraid of dying. Well, he's used to beating up on destroyers. And no offense to any of the destroyers in my game, but we, you know, we talked about that early on, like what I was able to do to the carrier versus uh, the other destroyers on this team. Now, here we go. I've, I've smoked up and I did that on purpose because I saw that there was a, you know, the implacable is is spotting for me. So that's an opportunity for me just to smoke and wait. I'm moving in my smoke. I stopped shooting, so the carrier didn't know where I was. He had to take a guess. He guessed wrong. Why AP into the nose, though? Because the the uh, HE is useless on this ship, and we capped him. Okay. And uh, if you saw, I was aiming for the upper part, the front of the hangar on the Kaga. I'll I'll, I'll pull up the Kaga's armor model, and you can see what I'm talking about. Um, did I feel like I missed out on not having IFHE? Not at all. But big, big thanks to that Kaga for giving me 46 plane kills. And that's a Kyle, man. He just dominated. Not bad. Not bad. And look at how much damage I received. I mean, 
the rockets, I got hit with six rockets for under 3k damage. Big deal, right? Like, whatever. All right, um, before we go into that, let's take a look. Let's talk about the Kaga, and we can talk about my commander spec and why I spec my commander this way. And remember, guys, when you choose your commander builds, choose what works for you. Don't worry about what is meta, not meta, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. All right, so putting, I was, I was aiming for this hanger plating right here. It's high up. So it's very easy to hit, and it's relatively flat, because he was at about an angle like this to me, because he was trying to bow tank me. Most people would go for down here, the forehand plating. But that's 21 millimeters of armor, which means my, my AP shells will not... I don't think they'll pen at that, that range. But in any case, I have much better chance of penetrating up here with, uh, with that. I wonder if those support beams are in a hitbox, though, too. Oh, yeah, it looks like they are. That's true. That's true. And earlier when he was when he was uh, side on to me, I was trying to hit over here as well. You can see that's 19 millimeters. There's a couple areas where the nope, they're, they're all about the same, except down here where the casement is. Um, also, one of the things I wanted to mention, I knew that the cog has got secondaries, too. I think they're like four and a half kilometer range. No, five. Oh, 5.4. So you have to keep that in mind, too. You, you can't you can't just drive up to it and expect to just blow it up in a destroyer. You have to respect those secondaries because they could hurt really bad. So, yeah. Um, any questions, guys, in chat? Anything else you want me to talk about? I'll, I'll briefly discuss my commander build and why I picked the skills that I picked. All right, so first on, immediately, I always go for pre preventative maintenance on destroyers. Um, that to me just makes the most sense. Do I need grease the gears? No, but I just, I had one point left over. I, I liquidator, I don't think is, is that important, especially on a ship with deep water torpedoes. Um, but it's up to you again, uh, consumables 10% on torpedo reload booster is very sexy. Um, but again, this is a mainline Gaja Mata. There's no reload booster on a Gaja. So what's, what's the point? Yeah, super deep water torpedoes are battleships and carriers only. No worries, Taylor. Uh, gun feeder, I, that could be useful when I'm switching between AP and, and HE a lot, but I don't know. On a destroyer, it's pretty quick anyways. Um, and the second tier, I, I went for pyrotechnician mainly because it's the buffed pyro. Um, you don't need it. I, it's, it's just, it's nice to have the extra fire chance, but if you'd rather have torpedoes with swift fish or you know, prior to target, fine. You know, like, I can understand why you would pick something like that. Uh, extra heavy AP shells seem to be useful that game because of how much AP I was firing. And somebody just followed. Marv! 8,765 is now following. Thank you for the follow, Marv. Uh, last stand is obviously a, a given. So my, my first... My, any destroyer, first 10 points, right? Preventative maintenance, last stand, survivability expert, concealment expert. And then I go from there. I did have main battery specialist and anti-air specialist. So that's the, essentially BFT. Um, and I did have adrenaline rush to round out the skills. Here's IFHE. Like I said, you, you could do it for the penetration, but giving up 50% of your fire chances, oof. But again, that's totally up to you the player to determine how you want to play the ship um aft would be would be fine uh, having the extra range would be okay but i kind of feel like the fen yang and an akizuki by extension is more of a up close and personal gun you down machine gun kind of a kind of a build and boat feel this brawler in this ship you're not brawling out in the open unless you actually have to and dazzle I never, I never respected Dazzle when we talked about my initial thoughts about the Commander rebuild. Um, um, and after looking at Mouse's thread about Dazzle, I'm glad I never really bothered playing with it. My rate of fire felt slower than you're used to in Akizuki. Well, because I think it is slower. Let's take a look at this and compare that to Akizuki. Ricochet on the score Rebel is now following. Ricochet Rebel, thank you for the follow. Um, all right, so what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to put you to reserve. 
um, just so that it that it's stock. And where is where's my Akizuki? Am I missing it? There it is. I'm I'm so used to grinding this ship line. And okay, he's a stock. He's unspecked, so that's fine. So let's look at his reload. Three second reload for an Akizuki standard versus. God, this is so hard. All right, eight. Versus Fen Yang, 5.2. Big difference. It's a very, very big difference. 4.9? Do I have something else that's slowing it down? I don't think I have anything that would slow him down. Huh. Well, thank you, Marv. Other questions you guys have. So don't don't think of the Fen Yang as something that's going to go around and just play like an Akizuki. You you have to play it like a completely different destroyer, and that's what that's what makes her fun. Um, and I'm really glad that battle was was uh, available so that I can kind of showcase uh, some of the characteristics of that ship. Last chance for questions, guys. If not, we're going to move on to talk about the Mysore, and we can do some operations. Did you say eyesore? Uh, I said the Mysore. It's probably Misore, or I don't know. <laughs> First time you've heard about the rate of fire? Yeah, we could do we could do Mysore and Ops. Might as well, because it, it counts as a win. It's more fun, you know. And, and to be quite honest, I I truly believe that this ship is well suited for Ops. I you could get by it in, in randoms, but I think you could. You can do much better. No, 